Prime Minister Narendra Modi landed in Brisbane on November 14, keeping his promise to Australian Prime Minister Tony Abbott to undertake a bilateral visit to Australia on the occasion of the G20 summit. He is the first Indian Prime Minister to visit Australia after a gap of 28 years. His five-day four-city visit to Australia, covering Brisbane, Sydney, Canberra and Melbourne, was packed with hectic engagements that included his debut attendance at G20 summit, his bilateral engagements with several heads of state and governments, his meeting with the host, his push for Make in India at the business level meetings with top CEOs, his address at the special joint sitting of the Australian Parliament and his historic meeting with the Indian community. It was Prime Minister Narendra Modi all the way at the ninth meeting of the G20 summit in Australia that represents two-thirds of the world's population and 85% of the world's GDP. Prime Minister Modi showcased India's return as a significant player in global economy and enthralled the audience with his inspiring speech, making a strong pitch for reforms in his intervention at the Five Nation BRICS bloc. Prime Minister Modi urged upon the global leaders to make it people-centric and people-driven and insulated from politics. His proposal for setting up the Global Centre for Renewable Energy was widely welcomed. He also underlined the need for fast-tracking the establishment of the BRICS Development Bank. At the G20 summit, Prime Minister Modi was the most sought-after leader with the heads of state and governments making a beeline to meet him and acquaint themselves with his ideas. On the sidelines of G20 summit, he met key leaders of the world's largest economies. Top world leaders who met him included EU President Herman Van Rompuy, British Prime Minister David Cameron, Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, German Chancellor Angela Merkel, French President Francois Hollande, Canadian Prime Minister Stephen Harper, and Saudi Arabian Crown Prince Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. It was due to the inspiring leadership of the Prime Minister that India succeeded in achieving substantially all her goals. India's concerns on black money and tax avoidance found an echo and were taken on board in the final G20 communique. At the behest of India, the reference to transparency was included with Brazil and South Africa strongly supporting India. The G20 leaders hailed the India-US agreement on WTO that would help full implementation of trade facilitation agreement and food security. The major takeaways from the G20 summit are to reduce global average cost of transferring remittances to 5%, to tackle black money through transparent automatic exchange of tax information, to strengthen infrastructure and attract more private sector investments in developing countries, to lift economic growth by 2%, support job creation, promote development and build global confidence. To reduce gap in workforce between men and women by 25% by 2025. To find climate change solutions within UN Framework Convention on Climate Change. After the G20 summit, Prime Minister Modi commenced his bilateral visit to Australia by unveiling the statue of Mahatma Gandhi at the City Hall in Brisbane. Interestingly, it was Prime Minister Modi who had mooted the idea long before he dominated the political scene. An ardent admirer of the Mahatma, the Prime Minister, while addressing the 21,000 strong frenzied crowd at the Alphonse Stadium in Sydney, sought the cooperation of the Indian diaspora towards building a clean India. Amid chants of Modi Modi, he unveiled his vision for rebuilding a strong India and invited investments from the NRIs towards achieving this goal. As in the Madison Square Garden in New York, Indians in Australia were mesmerized to see and hear their Prime Minister, who promised them it will never take 28 years to meet them in future. Aapka sapna, mera sapna hai.
आपकी इच्छा आकांक्षा है मेरी इच्छा आकांक्षा है आप जिस रूप में भारत को देखना चाहते हैं मैं भी उसी रूप में भारत को बनाना चाहता हूं आफ्टर द जी ट्वेंटी एंड इंटरक्शन विद द एनआरआई it was the turn of the prime minister to impress the australian lawmakers and the hosts addressing the joint sitting of parliament the first ever by an indian premier prime minister modi termed australia as the foremost partner of india both the countries were united by the ideals of democracy and he assured the host country that henceforth australia will not be at the periphery of india's vision but the center of thought we are impressed by australian speed as you charm by the indian spin until of course shen wan came along his 25 minute speech was punctuated by frequent applause during their bilateral meeting Prime Minister Modi and Australian Prime Minister Tony Abbott agreed to speed up civil nuclear agreement and comprehensive economic partnership agreement. India and Australia signed pacts on social security, transfer of sentenced prisoners, combating narcotics trade, tourism and arts and culture. Abbott assured to finalize the free trade agreement by next year and early export of uranium. In a joint statement, Australia and India committed to work together to combat terrorism and other transnational crimes. Rounding off his 5-day visit to Australia, Prime Minister Modi posed with the 2015 Cricket World Cup trophy at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. Present on the occasion were cricketing legends like Sunil Gavaskar, Kapil Dev, and VVS Lakshman. In all his engagements in Australia, Prime Minister Modi not only electrified the Indian diaspora but sent out positive vibes across the board. All were convinced that good times were round the corner not just for India but for the entire world and were keen to engage with India. <laughs>